Hey everyone, the Great Wolf Lodge is a family-friendly resort that offers a lot more than just being an indoor water park. So we wanted to show you what you can expect from a visit and overnight stay at their SoCal location in Garden Grove, California. The lodge's main attraction is 105 square feet of water fun. At 84 degrees, the water is a great temperature with 14 different slides and four pools. Breaking down the areas a little bit more, in the center you'll see the main play structure called Fort McKenzie. At the top, it's got a giant water dropper. Directly under that are the totem towers, which are the structure's two longest slides, which are great fun for the kids that aren't ready for Great Wolf Lodge's main slides. They aren't too fast and the kids love them. Moving down, the structure even has smaller slides for the younglings and a bunch of additional water features to enjoy. The main tower with all the slides has some great rides to choose from. With seven different slides, there are multiple ways to come down. The height requirements for most of these rides are 42 to 48 inches, with some of them requiring you to bring up the tubes or mats. And the green drop tube was the fastest and most intense since the floor drops out from under you. The large group slides are fun to bring the kids on, and the single and dual tubes are really exciting. As adults, we would have stayed there the entire time, but our kids are currently at the age where they like other sections more. For instance, our kids love being tossed around in the wave pool called Slaptail Pond. We were in there long enough that Trang even started to feel seasick. And because of its added risk, the entrance attendant measures all the kids before coming in to verify their height and let you know if they need life jackets. If we weren't in the wave pool, we were in Crooked Creek, which isn't the lazy river most parents are hoping for. Our kids, along with almost everyone else's kids, used it as a racetrack to bounce around. And we spent two thirds of our time in that river walking after our kids. So think of it more like a crazy river as you awkwardly bound after them. We were in the toddler area a lot, and it's about two feet deep in the deepest section near the slides. Thankfully, the area does have a fair amount of lifeguards that are constantly checking the pool to keep the little ones safe. Outside of that, the area is pretty sparse, with a few small structures, a mini slide, and an area that they can walk onto as they avoid buckets of falling water. The park also has a giant pool that has basketball hoops and balancing activities. It felt like it was the least busy area inside the park, and we spent the least amount of time there. Near the exit to the outside pool is a wave riding attraction called Wolf Rider Wipeout. While we didn't ride it in fear of getting wrecked, it was fun to watch other guests try their luck on the man-made waves. The park also has an attached outside pool called Raccoon Lagoon if you want to play under the sun. Non-water attractions inside the lodge include a mini bowling alley, which looked fun, a Magi Quest wand adventure where you can play at stations spread all throughout the building, a large ticket arcade that houses some of the most vibrant, eye-catching games we've seen in a long time. Outside of the activities, Great Wolf Lodge has a couple of shops, a general shop, a candy shop, and even a Build-A-Bear workshop. Food-wise, you have a couple options. Inside the main floor, you'll find a Dunkin' Donuts, the Loose Moose Buffet, and the highest end food being served inside called Lodgewood Fire Grill. On the bottom floor near the entrance of the water park, you can eat at their pizza parlor or bear paw ice cream and pastry shop. Inside the water park, you can order from their bar and grill. Eating there does add up quickly, and if you're looking for something cheap and fast, there's a McDonald's right across the street with a crosswalk nearby for easy access. We weren't sure what to expect staying a night at the Great Wolf Lodge, but ended up really liking it because it's a kid's hotel where everyone's kids are running around and having fun, so you don't have to shush your kids or worry that they're annoying anybody. We got a family suite which comes with an additional fold-out bed and all the amenities you would expect from any hotel. The sheets were clean and the room was nicer than we expected. They offered kids themed rooms as well, but we passed on that since we planned to stay inside the water park as much as possible. Eventually when both the girls are tall enough to ride all the rides, we want to return. But in the meantime, we'll continue to travel around the state and you can find more great family stops in California here. Happy travels. Thanks for watching our show.